All right, guys, so as you can see here, I had to pull out my hot end and my extruder, and we're gonna be adding a new one, specifically the Micro Swiss NG Direct Drive. We're gonna see if it's actually worth it, and hopefully it will be a keeper, and if so, I will definitely be adding it to my other printers, but it's been a long process, and I had to rip out tons of things, as you can see from all of the pictures, and, well, it did eventually come along. So I just finished installing the Micro Swiss NG Direct Drive Extruder on my CR10 V3, and this is the final product. It's crazy looking compared to this, which is what was on there. So we are going to fire this up and hopefully everything works right. Right, the moment of truth, turning it on. Nothing's smoking, so that's good. We're gonna try pulling filament through it. All right, so we've got it up to 240, and we're gonna try extruding here, and hopefully something comes out. All right, so our first extruder test. Here we go, we're gonna try to extrude 100 millimeters. Let's see if it works. It is being pulled, I can feel it. Let's see if something comes out the bottom here. Nothing yet, hoping it's still just being routed through. Nothing yet, it's definitely pulling it still. All right. It is being pulled, uh oh, let's see. As you can see, we have extrusion. So the setup was in fact a success. We're gonna have to go ahead and download our E-Steps and get our first print going. All right, so we got it back here up on the counter. As you guys can see, we're gonna go ahead and print the E-Steps and boom. So now it's loaded in the proper E-Steps and we're gonna get our first print going. Well, first we're gonna level the bed and get our first print going. So this is the first print that came off the printer. It's half of Revy's gun from Black Lagoon. And as you can see, we are now printing a dream shield from Kingdom Hearts. So it's definitely worth it. Look at this. I mean, it looks really, really good. Don't mind the frilling from the support. Otherwise, it looks great. So this is definitely a success and I would highly recommend this extruder.